Um, it depends on how old the infant is when it's abandoned, in the wild, that is. Um, infant chimps that are like three and younger are generally just sort of have to take care of themselves, but if they're older, then they do, um, they will be adopted often by a sister. My question so. is, what do you think happens when a mother, like you say, he was thrown, his jaw was broken because mm -hmm. when I, maybe, I mean, initially he maybe frightened her and then she got mad, but then would that be a total abandonment where she would not go back to get him? Um, I, I don't know. I think she probably would if it had she been in, in, the wild. Yeah. in the wild. Right. So maybe she was frightened, she was upset, get away from Right, you. and probably and if he hadn't broken his jaw, they would have put, her, exactly. put him back in there with her. But, but the ones that told me again was what intrigues me. What yeah. Do you want to ask her? Hey, Sally. Yes. We have a question for you. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Do I press this? No, you just talk. My question is when the when my question is when the chimps and the um, gorillas abandon their young and don't come back to them, and then, the, and then a surrogate mother takes over, such as a sister or an aunt, or in, in captivity. What happens in captivity? I mean, that they would abandon their babies and then not come back to the baby. Well, the problem is that it depends on individual animals. Maternal behavior, just like in humans, is really not. There's bad mothers. There's bad. So I mean that applies to them as well. In a social set out in the wild. Do you guys think that these guys would make a good pet? No. Good, good. Sometimes we get people that say yes, and then I get worried. Um, but um, these guys are babies. Like I said, they're four years old. This is generally what you see on TV is, kid, is 